Black people hate being black. Lord, did you know skin bleachener? Is it a four million or four billion dollar industry? I forget. I didn't know this. I think it's billion. Is it billion? I think it's billion. If I'm not mistaken, skin bleachener is a four billion dollar industry. Four billion dollars. Black people, four billion dollars a year to lighten your skin. Thirty billion to straighten your hair. You hate being black. Oh God, you hate being black. This is why the white power structure has been able to manipulate us out of the power conversation with words like multicultural, people of color, non-white Americans, disadvantaged communities. Yes, you love those words. Black people love to be called a person of color. Black people love to be called a minority. Black people love to be called non-white American. Black people love to be called a disadvantaged American. You like to be called anything except black or African. You hate it. And because the white man knows you hate being black, he slides you over into this category called minority. And he gives all the minority set aside money. He gives all the minority set aside money. He gives all the minority set aside money to all the other groups and we don't get nothing. And then we get mad when we don't get nothing. And the reason you don't get nothing is because you don't want to stand up and stand out and be who you are. If we refuse to be included in any other group except American African, if we did that, the whole policies would have to shift. If we refused to be lumped in with all the other non-white groups, so-called minority groups, they would have to change the whole policy of this country because so much of the policy is written for minorities. The American African should be a protected category, a uniquely protected category due to our uniquely different history and experience. Nobody in this country has been through what we've been through. Nobody. Nobody in this country has been through what we've been through. Nobody. Our unique history should be a plus in our political struggle, but it's not. Because so many blacks don't want to be black. And you actually think if you act white enough, they will forget you are black. This is how sick the Negro is. This is how insane the Negro pen is. This is how post-traumatic slavery diseased we are as a people. Just because you act white don't mean white people are going to forget you're black. But some of you believe this. If I bleach my skin, if I get a white girlfriend, if I go to a white college, if I live in a white neighborhood, if I think like white people, talk like white people, act like white people, they will forget that I'm black. You don't understand white supremacy. You don't understand white supremacy. You will never ever be able to escape your blackness. You will never ever able be able to outrun your blackness. You will never ever able, you will never ever be able to shed your blackness. The only place where your blackness does not matter is in your own head.
The only place your Africanity does not matter is in your own head. The only place where you can be perceived as being something other than a black African is in your head. You post-traumatic slavery disease Negroes.